ان الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا انه من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه اشهد انه قد بلغ الرساله وادى الامانه ونصح الامه ومحى الغمه وجاهد في الله حق الجهاد حتى اتاه اليقين فصلاه وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أتى عربيا يوما إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وقال يا رسول الله أقريب ربنا فنناجيه أم بعيد فنناديه فنزل قول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعان فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون أما بعد All praise to Allah. All praise to Allah, the one, the only, the one who should be worshipped. I bear witness that he is the creator of this universe and he is the one who should be worshipped. I bear witness that Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam is his messenger. Through mercy sent to us, if you follow it back, inshallah, we'll be a jannah. Amma ba'd. Summer is there. What should we do in summer? We should learn. We should plan. Everything in Canada here is planning, even though it's an Islamic thing, by the way. For the Canadian young Canadian under 25, you have to know that everything in Islam is by time. We pray on time. We fast on time. We do Hajj on time. Everything on time. Right? But subhanAllah, some of our parents, when you ask them, can I get this bike? He tells you, inshallah, I will get it. And the son immediately responds, no, that it's not coming. Which is, we shouldn't be doing as adults. But this is not the khutbah today. The whole of day about dua, the power of dua. What should we do? Allah gave us a power that we need all of us to learn and teach our youth. And today, the dua in prayer, around prayer. That's the khutbah today. To know what, where, are we, where am I going, inshallah. First, there is six places. Some people say seven. It's up to you. I'll, I'll, I'll count and you can count it themselves. I need everyone here, especially the people under 25, like me, or I'm over 25, I'm over 25 a little bit. You need to know what and where should I say it. Very important. Why? To ex ex get more hasanat. The idea is we get more hasanat in short time. This is my idea. Because I'm a bit, you know, I'm a bit weak. I'm a bit weak. I have to tell, tell everyone, I'm a bit weak person. I don't have all the time, like the Sahaba time, they finish the, the Quran every three days or for seven days and they pray all night. I'm a weak person. I like to do, get a short time, more hasanat. And teach everyone the same. If you can do more, perfect. But if you can at least keep this minimum, that's perfect too. First, we start with Allahu Akbar. You start with Takbirat al Ihram. What's the meaning Takbirat al Ihram? You start. While anything you do before, it's haram to do it after. Talking, normal talking, normal chatting, using the phone. I see some people even, on the time of the prayer, they have to respond on the phone. This thing. This is why the shaitan is, is very good. He to create, create this for us that we, uh, what's up? Judah, oh, I have even some people, you see them in uh, khutbah, they're responding to the message. Why are you doing that? Allah, he will die and this thing will stay and nothing will happen. We will go and nothing will happen after. So please get rid of your phones, put it aside and hear the khutbah. I'm trying to understand it. First, the dua of entrance. It's called dua al istiftah. What, like what? There are so many. I know at least three of them. But this is the, one, the first one I got. Allahumma ba'd bayi wa bayna khatayaya kama ba'd bayna al-mashriqa wa al-maghrib. Allahumma naqini min al-dhunubi wa al-khataya kama naqrtha wa al-abid wa al-dhanas. Allahumma arsini na dhunub al khataya al mayy wa al al bar someone say Slow down, I don't want to memorize all of that It's hard! I know Everything Learning chemistry is hard Learning math is hard But you need to let invest some time You can hear that through the inshallah If you, if you go to any or go to YouTube, YouTube you will see what I'm saying inshallah 
another dua Allah Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik tabarak ismuk wa ta'ala jadduk wa la ila ghayru you can start with that one too why why the prophet I believe why the prophet let's get one extra hikmah why the prophet told us this he wanted to be engaged in prayer sometimes you go in the prayer and our head in Fortnite NBA I want to finish prayer so that I can go back to Fortnite and win and kill some more people there. <laughs> All right? I know my son when he's playing. I want to play. Oh, I'll save myself in a spot that no one can see and I go and pray and come back. He said, "What are you doing?" I said, you know, I don't want to be killed. I said, "Okay, okay, fair enough." But at least Allah wants you to be engaged in prayer, engaged in prayer, so that you can win. The prayer is. A place that you so, so, so cleanse your heart, cleanse your body, prepare. That's what the prayer is. Cleansing, connecting. That's why the dua make you ready to go in. Let's go into prayer. And then you read the surah, uh, read the surah, so you read the fatiha and the surah. And you say what? Allahu Akbar and do ruku'ah. What should I say in ruku'ah? For anyone in this, subhanahu wa ta'ala alim. Subhan Rabbi Al-Azim, Subhan Rabbi Al-Azim, right? What Subhan Rabbi Al-Azim means? It's a tree in Jannah. The reward of Subhan Rabbi Al-Azim is a tree in Jannah. I'm telling you because you know everything is uh, is money. <laughs> the tree in Jannah looks like the tree outside there, a small tree with a branch that you can walk one meter. You're out of the tree. The shade of the tree is a walk is a walking 500 years. If you can walk 500 years, this is one tree. This is one Subhan Rabbi Azim. Then you say Subhan Rabbi Azim once, you implant that tree which is branched 500 years away. Imagine. One Subhan Rabbi Azim. Then you say three times Subhan Rabbi Azim, Subhan Rabbi Azim, Subhan Rabbi Azim. You got three times. Now I implanted three trees in Jannah. Don't you think when I die I want to claim my property? I want to claim my property. That's what the Prophet is teaching you. Think about it this way. When you say, Subhanahu wa Azim, I'm implanting a tree there. That's how it works. And then when you go up, you say, Sami Allahu liman hamida. Right? And then one of the Sahaba, because they are, Wallahi, they did so many things that I envy them, because really they taught us so much. One of the Sahaba said, What? When he says, Sami Allahu liman hamida, he said it in a way everyone in the mosque heard it. رَبَّنَا وَلَكَ الْحَمْدُ وَالشُّكْرُ حَمْدًا كَثِيرًا طَيِّبًا كَمَا يُحِبُّ رَبِّ وَرْضًا It's excellent. The Prophet didn't teach him this. And after the prayer, the Prophet said, who said what he said? Then the Prophet heard it. Then what the Alimah said, because of that, if you do a dua with a high voice, it doesn't destroy the prayer. It doesn't because some people say, "Oh, why?" Some you shouldn't say it loud. But if you said it, it doesn't destroy the prayer because of this dua, because of this hadith. And the Prophet said, "Who said it?" And the Sahih Muslim when he turned around and said, "Who did this?" Oh, penalizing happened now. Imagine the Prophet and no one told him that. And the Sahabi said, "Definitely, he will say the truth. It's me, or Prophet." And the Sahabi said, "Oh, he will teach him a lesson now." And the Prophet looked at him, he said, more than 30 angels, I saw them trying to pick it up to raise it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then we should memorize it or not? We should memorize it. How are they going to say it again? Rabbana wa lakal hamd wa shukr hamdan kathiran tayyiban kama yuhib rabbi wa arda. Memorize it. 30 angels are, are, are picking them up. Don't you want that? Definitely do. Definitely do. Then, can I say extra? Yes, but this is what, if you want to keep on with what the Sunnah say, this is what you should say. Okay? But you shouldn't be talking. I want to eat, talk to Rai, or sometimes let me respond to the text message because the world is stopping. Don't do that. Trust me, it will stay. Forever. Now then, you go to sujood. Again, what should I say? Subhanahu rabbi al-ala. Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala, Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala. What's the reward? Another tree. I implanted three trees, three in the Rukua and three in the Sujood. For the first Sujood. Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala, a tree. Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala, a tree. In Jannah. 
a tree in Jannah, a tree in Jannah. Don't you want some trees in Jannah? Then, what should I say after that? Make a dua. Whatever you like. Whatever you like. Allahumma ghafir li, Allahumma hamdi, Allahumma stor me. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, bestow mercy on me. Oh Allah, make shifa on me. Don't you have a dua you want Allah to accept? Every one of us has a dua. Every one of us has a calamity. Create a dua. Make a dua. The Prophet said, the most nearest to Allah, any one of us, when he prostrates, we do sujood. Then, in this, definitely you don't lead the jama'ah and you sit the sujood for an hour. Don't do that. But if you're alone, if you're alone, do it. Have dua, sincerity in the dua. Always have sincerity in the dua. Whatever the dua is, say it. Then I go between the sujood now. Do the sujood. You sit. What should I say? Or I should be quiet. Never in prayer you be quiet. Always make dua. Always. Because it's the, the main connection to Allah. The prayer is a connection to Allah. Why should you immediately stop talking? Keep on talking. What should I say? Allahumma khfirli wa li walidayya wa li ashabi yukharay. Or, Allahumma khfirli wa li walidayya wa li muslimin ajma'in. What does it mean? Oh Allah, forgive me. Forgive my parents because they are the most valuable to me. Valuable to me. Allahumma khfirli. And some of the ulama said, even if you don't say it, but this is some, not all. All the ulama said, it's nothing. If you don't say it, it's okay. But some of the ulama said, if you don't say this dua, you have to do second sahwa at the end. Look how important is this dua. Some of the ulama said, it's high, so high. But don't take that, because I, I, I'm, I'm not endorsing that. Allahumma khfirli wa li walidayya wa li muslimin. What does it mean? How many muslimin now? Let's say 1.5. Billion practicing, I'll say a third, one third of them, then you're collecting 500 million hasana in one dua. Do we need this hasanat? The youths can say, I don't need it. I'm rich, I don't have. The angel on the left is not accumulating any sayyad. Why should I take more hasanat? Trust me, when you're age like me, over 25, you will need every hasana. Every hasana. Every hasana you can get. Then, Allahumma khfili wa lidayya muslimin akma'in, or Allahumma khfili wa lidayya. And the second one which I teach the youth, wa li ashaab al-hukuqi alayhi. What does he mean, ashaab al-hukuqi alayhi? Whoever I owe them anything. Oh, do I owe them uh, that much? Allah, you'd be scared if you know that how much you owe everyone around you. Everyone. From the smell, from the smell of yours, of the loud voice, my loud voice, by the way, can offend some of you. And you go to the, to the hereafter and say, This khatib has a loud voice. Oh Allah, give me hasanat from him. Allah, well, I swear, it's a, it's, it's a fact. Then you can come to the hereafter and get my hasanat because I have a loud voice. But because I'm saying, Allahumma khfili wa radayya wa ashabi akulay, if I always send me, oh Allah, reserve with this hat some hasanat against it. So when I go in the hereafter, he will take from this hasanat. Like insurance. I gave a khutbah before about insurance, Islamic insurance. This is the insurance for all of us that when you go there, you remember the sixth bridge, Hukuk al Abad. This is the insurance that you can pass if you pass the, six, uh, uh, the first five bridges. I hope everyone will memorize. I want everyone to memorize there are seven bridges on the hellfire. I always say uh, it's not a khutbah, it's a khutbah itself, but I always, everyone wanted to memorize it. Seven bridges. The first five is the pillars of Islam. The sixth is Hukh al-Ibad. The seventh is Rahim. Seven bridges on the hellfire. Then, Allah many And then, you go to the second sujood. Subhanahu rabbi al-Ala, subhanahu rabbi al-Ala, subhanahu rabbi al-Ala. Again, everyone is a tree. Now you come towards the end of the prayer. And you repeat that every prayer. To the end of the prayer. إنك عائد حياة إلى الصلاوات والطيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد عبد رسول اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد This is the ending of prayer I should say it Then what? Assalamu alaikum. Wait! You're still with Allah. Why are you leaving? Don't rush it out. 
Now, there is a gift. What should I say in this gift? You can say any dua. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, bestow me. Oh Allah, make my, uh, my daughters get married. Oh Allah, save my son. Make him the best. Make me win in Fortnite. Where's the earth? Make me win in Fortnite. Make me win in NBA. Or any game, I don't know what you think about now because the games are not. But, oh Allah, make me from the people who are, and so on. Make a dua. But what the Prophet said, some of the ulama said, the dua is, the dua that the Prophet, Allahumma anta Allahu al-wahid al-ahad, al-fard al-samad, al-ladhi lam yalid, wa lam yulid, wa lam yakul lahu kufu al-ahad, ifil li dhambi. The Prophet said, because one of the Sahaba said it, he said that he's all his sins forgiven. All his sins they are forgiven. If you say that dua, subhanallah, imagine the dua. Simple dua you can say and you can win with it. This is some of the dua that you can say in prayer. Now the question, can I say that in fard and sunnah? The answer is yes. Any fard or sunnah you can say what I've, I have done, I've said before. In the whole khutbah, you can repeat in fard or sunnah. Can I say, ask Allah for something from dunya? I said it. I can say for fortnite, right? MBA. I can get married. Oh Allah, give me a good wife. Oh Allah, give me a money. Oh Allah, make me rich. Oh Allah, but better than that, I always tell everyone. Ask Allah, Allahumma atini salih, fa anta a'na bihi minni. Oh Allah, give me whatever you think, you, you, you know that is right for me. Because if you ask for a specific thing, usually when you get it, you lose everything else. I notice that. Ask Allah to give you what's good for you. Because Allah knows that if you will be rich, you will be good, He will make you rich. And so on. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروا يا فوز المستغفرين وحب الله وأدعوه بنا من جاري إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفر ونستهدي ونعوذ بالله من شر أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا ما بعد Now the question comes Can I make dua in have to be in Arabic? No You can make dua in English You can make dua in Urdu in Vishnu Whatever you like Whatever dua you think is good. The only things that you have to say, like this Prophet said, is Subhan Rabbi Al Azim Al Ruku, Subhan Rabbi Al Aala Sujood. It's better to say what the Prophet taught us because he has his Utiya Jawami Al Kalim, which means that collective words, simple words, you say it, you get a lot of hasanat. Quickly. Like in the dua I said, Allah man Allah al Wahid al Ahad al Fardu al Samad, Allah bin Amirik wa Namiyurat, Allah bin Akulla wa Kufur Ahad, Ifr li Dhamdi. All your sins are gone. Alright? Allah masturna fawqa. Use the dua. There is a lot of dua in the Quran or the Sunnah. You can use them. If you want to be creative, imagine someone has a calamity. We have a, in the next khutbah, we have a salat al-qaib on someone. His son died. Oh Allah, make mercy on our meal. Oh Allah, make him from people of Jannah. And you make dua to him. It's a dua that for a crisis. A dua that hits you. When well, you're so sincere, you need to be sincere in the du'a. Allah, sometimes we need to work on that part. You know, when you make du'a, I'll give you an example to make it easier for, for the youth. Or under 25 again, I like this word. Imagine you call and you have a busy line. What do you do? You call again. And you call again. And you call again, right? Can we have that? Yes, with Allah. But Allah is there. You tell us, Khatib, that Allah is there all the time. The problem is your machine, it's not Allah. Allah is there all the time. And He hears us all the time. But your machine is defected. Our machines are defected. Allahumma atini hasanat. Allahumma I mean, my manager is the one who's giving me money. No. Your machine has to say, your body has to say that, Oh Allah, give me that. And you believe that Allah is, will, that is the one who's giving you that. Is the only one who will give you that. Oh Allah, the medicine I'm taking from the doctor will save me. I know Allah is the only one. The doctor is a wasila, is a way. His knowledge is a way. That's why you hate to take medication from a doctor and it doesn't work. And you go to the doctor and say, this medication is broken. Try this one. It doesn't work. Try the third one. Oh, it works. Oh, he's an intelligent doctor. No, he's not. He knows better than you in this part. But Allah is the one who ran the ni'mah on his hands. That's how it works. Everything is from Allah. 
and we are renting. Is it your home? No, it's Allah's home and you are renting it. Is it your phone? No, it's Allah's phone but you are using it. If you have this mentality, our life will change. That's what the Sahaba, so many times I ask myself, why the Sahaba are better than us? They have six hands and 12 feet? No, they have this mentality, they know everything is from Allah and we're just using it. That's it, subhanAllah. Now let's conclude. Some of the ulama said you have to have adab in dua. Politeness in dua. How I have politeness in dua? Especially in what? When you raise your hand after ruku'ah and you start making dua. What should I say? Starting with what? First, the ulama said it's better to start with better to start with praising of the Prophet Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala abdika wa nabiyika Muhammad fil awwaleen. Why? This dua is accepted anyway. The ulama said this dua, when you praise the Prophet, it's accepted. Us, then you start with praising the Prophet. Making thana on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma anta Allah al-wahid ahad. Say a dua. Allahumma anta al-qawi al-aziz. And then name your dua. Whatever you think is good for you. Allahumma asturna, Allahumma gfilana, Allahumma ya, Allahumma ghnini, Allahumma qawini. Make dua. It's up to you. Open. English, Arabic, French. Bishnu, Urdu, whatever, any language, uh, so if I miss, there are millions of languages, you know. Then you make the dua, and the end of the dua, you say what? To salli ala Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbi alameen. Wa salli allahum ala nabi ummiya wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Then, the last dua is accepted. The first dua is accepted. Allah is the most generous. He will accept everything in between. Again, we start with praising the Prophet, and you end with praising the Prophet and you make dua or whatever in between. The ulama said, Allah is the most generous, he will accept. He accepts the first one, and he accepts the last one, he is the most generous, he will accept whatever in between. May Allah make us from these people. Okay, now I'm reminding everyone, inshallah, I, I, the khutbah can take forever, really dua, one of my passion that we have to learn, how to teach our youth, and how to teach our... And lastly, I, I'm teaching the people who are over 25. Now, I'm talking to the over 25. Teach your youth the dua. Because we will need it. When we go away, you taught your youth that he will say this dua. Yeah? You will benefit. You are the ones. I'm, I, I want to I, I wanna benefit. I want to benefit. If your son or daughter is doing the dua, I will take hasanat. Then if you teach them, you're the winner. You're the winner. How can I teach them? By doing it. Teach them not, okay my son, sit. You have to say one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you didn't learn? How dare you? Again. Don't do that. Teach them by example. Teach them that I'm saying that. Why? Teach them the understanding. All of the youth here, they understand. Wallahi, they understand. They are so smart. They are so smart. Teach them and use their smartness with them, not against them, with them. Teach them that this is dua because, and tell them whatever I said in the khutbah, and so on. Don't you want to have some plans? Do you want to have some money? Oh yeah, where's the money? Especially in Fortnite, money and... Okay, you know, you need some money in Jannah? لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله إذا كان من كنوز الجنة. If you want to have more حسنة more money, you agree the word لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. It's a كنوز من كنوز الجنة. The khutbah has to end, but Subhanallah, the words doesn't end. I'm reminding you, Ashura, إن شاء الله. You know the bounties of Allah doesn't end, and we Arafat is gone, and now we are in Eid. And may Allah make us Eid for everyone. And Ashura is coming on the 18th, 19th, or 20th of next. Next month, inshallah, we need to plan, think, and prepare. I'll talk to you, inshallah, in the next khutbah, inshallah. Remember us in your dua. Remember this mosque in dua. Always we need your dua. Every masjid, every place. Remember always to, to remember this dua. If you need your Dar al-Quran for your youth to, lead, to learn Quran, we have Dar al-Quran in this place and everywhere. Make your youth join. Remember, if you're smart, Learn how to make dua. In everything, in every part of your life, the Prophet told the Sahaba to make dua in every step of their lives. 
That's how we should be thinking. That's how we should be smart when we do anything. If you want to play, no problem, play. But make dua. That's it. Make dua. When you're coming home, Assalamu Alaikum. Peace on the place. Dua. Every thing that comes of your mouth is a dua somehow. If you think about it, think about it. Everything comes. Then why you don't take hasanat with every word you say? Remember that, inshallah. Allahumma hdina fi man hadayt. Allahumma hdina fi man hadayt. Wa afina fi man afayt. Allahumma jma'na wa la tufarriqna. اللهم اجمعنا ولا تفرقنا اللهم انك عفو كريم تحب العفو عفو عنا اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولمن سبقنا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم واخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وقوموا الى صلاتكم يرحمكم